Well, I'm going to show you today some microorganisms growing on the surface uh, of a water plant, some fast moving chloroplast inside of plant cells. I'm going to also show you some growing oxygen bubbles due to photosynthesis and they grow quite quickly. And last but not least, uh, a lonely diatom. Plenty of stuff to show you today. So hi, microbe hunter here. Well, here I am now in the Czech Republic and the river behind me is called the Vltava. It's the Czech National River. And I'm spending the day here with my family doing a little bit of rafting. But of course, I also took along a little plastic container to collect the water sample to put under the microscope. On the bank of the river, there were many water plants uh, growing. Some of them completely submerged in water, some of them growing out of the water. Well, I did not know which ones to take along. <laughs> I did find a couple of familiar species, Elodia, for example, which I already knew because I had them also inside uh, my aquarium many years ago. Yeah, but the river itself was only knee deep and uh, going over the river, I could see a lot of different uh, plants and the sediment was also very interesting to look at. What should I take along? Well, I decided after all to take um, a few uh, samples of a few water plants simply to see a little bit what microorganisms um, are growing on the surface of the water plant and maybe also to put the water plant directly under the microscope to see what's going on inside cells. Well, the dog was a little bit afraid of the water as well. Well, I took uh, some uh, yeah, leaves uh, from the water plants, put them into my little plastic container with a little bit of water and back at home I had a closer look um, at my at these specimens and uh, indeed uh, I already could see that some of the specimens some of those water plants did not look quite as clean as you might expect them to look and this is a good sign because there was some stuff growing on those leaves so I took one of those leaves to make a whole mount and I put it directly on the microscope slide knowing that I will not see very much because this leaf was a little bit thick and therefore um, of course it looks everything looks much darker and uh, did not look very interesting right at the beginning but then at a higher magnification when you look at the edge of the leaf this is where all of a sudden a whole range of different bacteria and other microorganisms started to appear. This is known as a biofilm. A biofilm is a complex association of different microorganisms that are growing on a surface. And those biofilms, they are, yeah, can contain many, many different species. Um, and uh, here we can see that uh, there are different shapes and different forms. And I can imagine that maybe there are even possibly more bacteria growing on a, bio, on a biofilm than maybe the plant even has plant cells. So not something surprising because it's the same with us human beings as well. This here, this is a small microscopic colony of diatoms. So even they grow, well not only even, but even, they also like to grow, of course, uh, wherever they can find a good place to attach themselves to. And here, this here is in phase contrast, which uh, yet, uh, makes the biofilm appear even brighter um, on its slightly darker background. It kind of shows uh, how much diversity there is. Now the water itself was extremely clean. Uh, this is actually a sign that there seems to be relatively low um, organic uh, content uh, in the water. Uh, yeah, and, and I think one of the reasons is because the rapid growth of those water plants, they also keep the water relatively clean. This is Elodia. Yeah, I put Elodia also under the microscope. It's a very popular and a very common species uh, and specimen to, to observe because the chloroplasts are quite nicely visible. Uh, you have to go up with the magnification a little bit. Uh, here, this is the leaf as it is. Um, the leaf is relatively thin, uh, so it allows light to go through quite well. Uh, but if you go up with the magnification, you can also see that there also seems to be something growing on the leaf. So you see that uh, these might also be diatoms that have attached themselves uh, to the surface uh, of the leaf. But what is really interesting here is are the chloroplasts. Uh, at this magnification now, I uh, went all the way up to approximately a 400 times total magnification. At this uh, magnification, we can already see uh, the moving chloroplasts quite well. And uh, if you look at a place where, which is not so densely packed, then you can actually see that the chloroplasts move around the cell in a circle. So there seems to be a central vacuole in the cell and in the cytoplasm, the cytoplasm is streaming and pulling along those chloroplasts. Now, why are those plants doing that? This is actually a common thing that many plant, uh, cells do. Uh, the cytoplasm is moving around. And one reason what they think is, is that uh, this way, the position of the chloroplasts can be adjusted so that they can harvest the most of the light. 
Um, this is actually one possibility why uh, they are moving around those chloroplasts. Of course, I've also done a little bit of time lapse. And this kind of illustrates it quite well, how the chloroplasts uh, are moving inside the cell. I always consider this quite uh, fascinating to see. And it uh, actually also shows that, yes, uh, life means also movement. Um, yeah. And here, this is um, a different plant. And here I now tried to scratch off uh, the biofilm. This, of course, destroys the biofilm. Um, I'm well aware of that, uh, but I still wanted to see uh, more directly of what uh, was actually growing on the plant leaf. Um, a lot of yeah, unrecognizable st stuff, maybe debris as well. Of course, many bacteria, but there were again, <laughs> as expected, uh, the occasional diatoms. And I was quite happy to find actually one rotifer as well, uh, which was also moving around here. So we see that uh, those uh, biofilms are very complex. Um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I would say ecosystem almost. It's not really an ecosystem it's by itself, but uh, it actually yeah, it shows that it's uh, quite complex and, and quite diverse. And I think, uh, yeah, I'm going to now show you some fun stuff that we've done here while riding along in the boat. We also had to go down a little bit, a uh, small waterfall here. And you're going to ask me, what does this have to do with microscopy and with a topic? It will actually should illustrate that the river has a very high oxygen concentration because the river was flowing very rapidly and the air and the water were mixed together. And uh, this actually means that uh, there are, of course, different types of organisms growing in oxygen-rich water. Ceratophyllum, that is the name of this plant, uh, also very commonly found in um, aquariums because they grow so quickly and they absorb many nutrients and, and therefore they also keep uh, the water relatively clean. And even here, when you look at the surface, you can see that there is a layer of bacteria and other microorganisms um, growing um, on. Um, on there and yes I was able to also do a time lapse of growing air bubbles um, no that's not correct oxygen bubbles okay those oxygen this oxygen is produced by photosynthesis by this water plant and here a close-up uh, again of the biofilm and I think that there seems to be some kind of a symbiotic relationship here the plant producing oxygen for the bacteria in the biofilm and the bacteria decomposing organic material producing CO2 which is again useful for the plant. Yeah and here we see yeah, um, also a slightly slowly growing air bubble and uh, some other movement going on difficult to see maybe a ciliate or flagellate. Yep and down we go again here the next little waterfall and with all of the foam um, you can see that the air and the water are really quite well mixed together and this is of course also brings carbon dioxide into the water for the water plants to use for photosynthesis yeah, and this dog here was a little bit afraid <laughs> of all of the water plants growing in there yeah here you can see how clean the water actually is a uh, very few uh, floating particles um, so I did put a little bit of sand under the microscope to look have a look at the so-called the interstitial um, fauna, the interstitial fauna, these are the living things that can be found between the sand grains. Now it can be quite well possible that because the river was flowing so quickly that maybe many of the microorganisms had a difficult time to actually settle down there but um, I was lucky to actually find a, again a, a, a diatom. Those are quite uh, quite common. I'm just going to show you in a minute but I think uh, that those sand grains also look, uh, look kind of nice. Yeah here it is. And of course, you have to go up with the magnification a little bit um, to see slightly more details here. And left to this diatom, there seems to be also some other colonial algae there. You have to look uh, quite carefully and then you're also able to see quite a bit of, of life uh, in the sediment. And uh, those diatoms, they look quite nice with their silica shell as well. And also packed uh, with uh, chlorophyll and chloroplasts, uh, of course, uh, because it too is producing quite a bit of oxygen. I had to play around a little bit with the polarization settings um, of the microscope. This actually gave uh, some of the sand grains its beautiful, their beautiful rainbow color here. Uh, so I'm just fooling around right now a little bit and enjoying the, the play of colors here. Yeah, but otherwise uh, I would say uh, there are plenty of things uh, to observe here. Um, and uh, if you now let the water sample stand and have done this, uh, then of course more and different uh, microorganisms now start to grow. And I recently put uh, those water samples again under the microscope and I was able to discover that there are now many more ciliates, even maybe possibly paramecia and so on, growing on there. 
because the water is standing and this also allows uh, those microorganisms uh, to multiply. Yeah, some, finally, some final nice pictures um, of our destination that we reached after three or four hours um, yeah, in, the little, in our little boat. I think uh, this is now a good opportunity also to say thank you for having taken the time to watch this video. Please do consider subscribing to this channel. Plenty of more information in the description below. Happy micro as always and see you around next time. Bye-bye.